Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to our Shabbat patio services. Ken and I are so glad to be leading the service and we so much miss you, of course, here. We know you're joining us from your own living room and we hope that you're having a good evening and ready for this beautiful Shabbat experience. We also want to let you know that we're using this special seed door that we use during our Kabbalah Shabbat services during the summer. This is something the ritual committee and I created a long time ago based on Gates of Prayer, which is the blue edition of our Reform Prayer Book that we used to use many, many, many years ago. But this PDF actually is available to you. Check the temple website. You will see it there. As well as if you look at tonight's service, it should be available to you wherever you click for tonight's service. It should be right there next to it. And with that, let us begin. We begin our service singing, Maya Behayom, how beautiful today is Shabbat Shalom on page 11. We continue now with Roma Move, which is at the bottom of page 15. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashari, Malachi 
continue on page 23 with lighting of the Shabbat candles. And before I do the reading here that we'll do together on page 23, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and get your candles at home and light your candles at home. You can see here we have our candles which uh, are not really lighting well anyway. So we hope you'll be able to light them at home as we continue. In every beginning there is darkness. The darkness of chaos seems eternal, yet form emerges, light dawns, and life is born. In the beginning, beginning the, the Most High, high made, made heaven and earth. In every beginning there is darkness, the darkness of ignorance which smothers human dignity, the darkness of fear which chokes the creative will, the darkness of tyranny which stifles freedom. The, the Most High, high said, said, Let there be light. The Sabbath candles celebrate the divine power that makes for life and light. Say to each other, Shabbat Shalom. On the bottom of page 24, Shabbat is a day of freedom and peace, a celebration of life and creation. May it open our eyes to the goodness we have attained and our hearts to the goodness we may yet achieve. Let moments of holiness enter the world, uniting matter and spirit in the joy of wholeness as we welcome Shabbat, the day of days. Page 26. Page 28, we continue with our call to worship, Baruch Hu. And with this Sidur, as I'm sure you remember, we have arrows pointing up and pointing down. If you're able to, we invite you to please rise for Baruch Hu.
continue responsibly on page 30. There was silence, there was chaos, there was a voice. A mind went forth to form worlds. No order reigns where chaos once held sway. The, the law, law makes evening fall, the law brings on the dawn. dawn. The moon follows accustomed paths, constellations their pattern ways. Sovereign, Sovereign is the will that orders the stars in their courses in the endless skies. Sovereign is that will. Continue on page 31. Yielding is the will of our people Israel. After the long nights, after the days and years when our ashes blacken the sky, Israel endures, heart still turned to love, soul turning still to life. So, so day, day and night, night early, early and late, we will rejoice in the study of Torah. We will walk by the light of these vote. They are our life and the length of our days. Praise be the source of life and love, and Israel our people. To take a deep breath in, exhale it out. One more deep breath in, breathe it out.
You shall love the eternal your God with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I, the Eternal, am your God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I, the Eternal, am your God. We worship the power that unites all the universe into one great harmony. That oneness, however, is not yet. We see in perfection, disorder, and evil all about us. But before our eyes is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. These two we have known in some measure. There's evil enough to break the heart, good enough to exalt the soul. Our people has experienced untold suffering and wondrous redemptions. We await a redemption more lasting and more splendid than any of the past. When will redemption come? When we master the violence that fills our world. We look upon others as we'd have them look upon us. When we grant to every person the rights we claim for ourselves. Once we were in bondage, then we were free. In this first liberation, our people saw reveal the power of the Most High. They perceived that God's presence redeems time and event from the hands of tyrants. We too acclaim the power that makes for freedom. We sing the song that celebrates our deliverance from Egypt and all bondage as we continue with Micha Mocha on page 37. together on the bottom of the page. May we lie down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. May night spread over us a shelter of peace, of quiet, of calm, the blessing of rest. 
will come a time when mourning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish. The come a day of happiness, of contentment, and peace. Praise be the source of joy within us, for the night and its rest, for the promise. Now the central portion of our worship with our tefillah on pages 40 and following. Please rise if you're able. Elohe Rachel, Elohe Rifa, 
ספסלים טובים, וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה. מלך חוזר ומושיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי הכל אתה רב להושיע, מוריד הטל, מכלכל חיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו. שני עפר, מי כמוך בעל גבורות, ומי דומה לו, מלך מימית ומחייך, ומצמיח ישוע, ונאמן אתה להחיות הכל, ברוך אתה אדוני, מחייך. קדוש ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יהללו חסלה. ברוך אתה אדוני, האל הקדוש. Page 44. The holiness of this day is not for this day alone. We must make it overflow into all our minutes. To hallow our weak days from these sacred moments, hour by hour to make the world a sanctuary where every human may be. soul may be at home. Oh, may the awe we feel at times, at the miracle of one another united in prayer, be with us tomorrow. Keep tenderness in our words, our touch, and our look. Praise be the world and the power within it that makes for holiness. Please be seated if you're able. Yes, continue on page 50. We live in two worlds, the one that is and the one that might be. Nothing is ordained for us, neither delight nor defeat, neither peace nor war. Life flows and must freely choose. We can, if we will, change the world that is into the world that may come to be. As you're taught from of old, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from deceitful speech. Depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it. Be of the disciples of Aaron, loving peace and pursuing it. Loving all human beings and bringing them to the Torah. The whole Torah exists only to bring peace as it is written. Its ways are ways of pleasantness and all its paths are peace. Let justice dwell in the wilderness, righteousness in the fruitful field. 
for righteousness shall lead to peace. It shall bring quietness and confidence forever. Then all shall sit under your vines and under their fig trees, and none shall make them afraid. We continue now on page 51 with Birkat Shalom. I cannot think of a more important prayer right now than Birkat Shalom, the prayer of peace. say amen. I invite us to take a deep breath in, breathe in that sense of shalom and exhaling out that surah all that difficulty we don't need to hold on to. Another deep breath in as we exhale out. So now take this opportunity to reflect on that makor shalom, that source of peace that lies truly within each one of us as we pause now silent reflection. We now focus our energies toward those who are ill and in need of healing. On this Shabbat, we think of Jason Adams, Sally Amarendez, Adam Beresh, Chana Bat Miriam, Eliana Bat Chana, Abby Perbaker, Tony Berliner, Dr. Arnold Berliner, Robert Berg, Barbara Berlant, Sarah Beinstock, Sandy Beinstock, Rich Burns, Esther Burton, Dr. Ed Kahn, Bob Kant, Simone Cardinet, Mal Kosman, Hadley Crane, Rebecca Lindecker, Celeste Donnelly, Elise Epstein, Peter Fadham, Bill Fink, 
Jason Fishoff, Carolyn Franklin, Barbara Friedman, Sandy Friedman, Holly Fugit, Julie Gleaves, Jennifer Guerrera, Courtney Hansen, Lee Henderson, Celeste Hutchinson, Barbara Jackowitz, Evelyn Katz McCosker, Petrus Lacey, Liat Svia Batliba Veochanan, Janice Lucero, Young Song Lot, Father Bill Leninger, Shirley Lerner, Gary Levine, Penny Levine, Austin Lucero, Eva Misley, Peggy Monroe, Brad Parkins, Melanie Pearson, Judy Pell, Harriet Reisner, Carol Ross, Marilyn Rudy, Richard Rusnak, Dolores Sams Hoy, Laura Sanders, Leslie Schneider, Corrine Silverman, Sybil Summer, Donna Thyman, Pham Tai Trang, Martha Walker, Teresa Walsh, Claire Cecil Watson, Jeannie Watson, Nancy Weisenfeld, Dana Williams, Karen Williams, Sue Witten, Sherman Wong. As we think of all those we mentioned, and those remain unnamed, Refuash Lema, a speedy and complete recovery, as we now pray for their better health. This week's Torah portion is a double portion, Chukat Balak, from the Book of Numbers. There's a great deal that takes place in this week's parasha. The Law of the Red Heifer is described, the importance of ritual fitness, battles with Bedouin tribes, difficult terrain with snakes, the famous story of Balak and Bilam, as well as the death of Miriam, all take place in this double portion. But one of the most famous moments in Torah is also in this double portion, and that is when Moses, instead of speaking the word to yield water from the rock, instead, out of his frustration, he smacks the rock. Frustration. Something we can all relate with. Maybe a little bit more now than normal. Yes, we all get frustrated with our loved ones and our friends in various situations. And being stuck at home most of the time has created another layer of frustration for so many of us. Not being able to travel and vacation and to go really where we want to go, all creates frustration. And so too many of us are frustrated with our country and its very inconsistent response to the coronavirus. Wearing a mask has been made to be a political statement instead of what it should be, a health measure. But on this Shabbat of American independence, let us remind ourselves of the ideals and values that make this country great. As you know, when you really love something, you want it to be the best it can be. 
which means you criticize, you analyze, and look at every element of something. We hopefully do it with respect and compassion, but when we criticize our country, or Israel for that matter, we do so because we care. This idea that one is not patriotic because they criticize our country is nonsense. In fact, the opposite is the truth. The more we care, the more invested we should be, the more we should speak up for what is right and good for our country. Love of country trumps individual leaders and their poor behavior. So, as a lover of America and of Israel, I say it is our obligation to speak up when that which we love acts in a way that is consistent with the values and ideals that we know to be true for both countries. And the values our country and our faith have in common are black lives, women's equality, civil rights, gay, lesbian, and transgender rights, no discrimination due to economic status, sexuality, race, country of origin, immigration status, religion, physical ability, one's mental state, age, and gender. On July 4th, my friends, I am celebrating the America I believe in, the America that stands up for the sick, poor, and tired, the America that we know we can be if we stand up together and make it happen. May this year's Independence Day inspire us to work towards a time when we can all be proud of our country again. Shabbat Shalom. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. As I went walking that ribbon of highway, I saw above me that endless skyway I saw below me that golden valley this land was made for you and me this land is your land this land is my land from California to the New York Island from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land was made for you and me. I roamed and rambled, and I followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. And all around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. California to the New York Island from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land was made for you and me this land was made for you and me We continue on Elena on page 114. Please rise if you are able. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol L'atet gidula l'yotzer breshit Sh'hu n'otei shamayim b'yosed aretz U'moshav yekaro b'ashamayim b'imal U'shchina t'uzo b'gohe meromim Hu Eloheinu Eino, v'anachnu korim, u'mishtachavim u'modim, l'ipne melech malche hamlachim, v'kadosh baruch hu. V'nemor v'haya Adonai, l'melech al kol ha'aretz, v'yom ha'u. Bayom ha'u ia Adonai echad Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo echad
Please be seated. We now come to the moment in our service when we think about members of our family and community who've died recently or in years past. We especially think of those that are grieving the Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning for Faye Singer, as well as those that are grieving the Shana, the first year of mourning for Miriam Bergoffin, Raymond Berman, Rabbi Samuel Brody, Carrie Broding, Laura Bruckheimer, Alexander Bruchstein, Stephen Ronnie Bush, Idel Kagan, Dr. Bernard Cohen, Rabbi Sissy Corin, Vivian David, Jean Donnelly, Michael Dubrow, Marie Edwards, Mark Emanuel, Bert Epstein, Glenn Farber, Jackie Fazio, Beverly Furman, Marv Fox, Helen Marchuk Goldman, Mel Grant, Lorna Hoffman, Joan Hammer, Susan Hammer, Dolores Jaffe, Seema Jaffe, Jerry Kane, Lori Kaplan, Brana Reuven Kate, Rabbi Peter Noble, Lori LeMay, Judy Siegler Lieberson, David Dudi Messinger, Irene Neal, Richard Pasco, Nancy Fister, Curtis Lee Robinson, Lori Marie Rosen, Edith Rosenberg, Barbara Rudnecki, Victor Ratner, Fred Retchen, David Reisner, Leo Rinsler, Ron Roth, Lorraine Samuel, Jane Schwartz, Ruth Silen, Art Silver, Marilyn Silver, Sophie Siemens, Alice Klar, Sandra Sokolek, Bruce Summer, Bernard Spillman, Joan Rusnak Weinberg, Jill Wernick. We also think of the following yard sites that we observe on this Shabbat. Marlene Albert, Gerald Benson, Oris Black, Anita Blaustein, Ruth Cohen, Dorothy Davis, Edwin Delman, Hilda Doron, Marie Edwards, Nathan Epstein, Gertrude Fisher, Stanford Fox, Minnie Frederick, Leo Jarris, John Grayson, Elizabeth Green, Eric Hansen, Elaine Herzog, Eva Honig, Rosie Ivy, Esther Jacobson, Benjamin Crandell, Oscar Lovin, Ruth K. Leiter, Gertrude Lewis, Ruth C. Madsen, Gertrude K. Marcus, Robert Mauskoff, Sandra Medler, Dorothy Michelle, Hannah Morris, Joy Morris, Stephanie Newhouse, Oscar Panikoff, Harry Popkin, Helga Oster Remick, Aaron Ress, Ernesto Sokolutnik, Chester Schneider, Harry D. Schwartz, William Schwartz, Dorothy Siegel, Abraham Selden, Carrie Sog, Morris Suntop, Max Wyman, Saul P. Willits, Sarah Wisefield, Nancy Wright. Zichonam Livracha, may the memories of all of our loved ones endure as a blessing as we continue with Mourners Kaddish. We continue with Kadisha Tom Amornus Kaddish on page 119. Yit Gadal, the Yit Gadash, Meraba, the Amad Yvrach Rute, the Amrich Malfute, the Chayachon of Yomechon, the Chay the Holbe Israel, Bagalav was man Kari, Vimru Amen. Yehe Shme Raba Mevorach, the Alam Olme Almaya, Yit Barach, the Ishtabach, the Paar, the Roman Vietnase, Viet Hadar Vitale Vitalal. Shmei v'kudesha b'rechu. Elam mikor b'rechata v'shirata. Tush b'rechata v'nechemata. D'amiran b'elma v'imru. Amen. Yehei shlomo rabba m'shamaya. V'chayim alenu v'akol Yisrael. V'imru. Amen. Osei shalom b'mromav. V'ya osei shalom. Alenu v'akol Yisrael. V'akol yoshvei tebel. V'imru. 
Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to those who are bereaved among us, whoever they may be, as we say together. Amen. Oh.